If you're like millions of Americans, you're sick of the cubicle jungle. You want to get out from your desk and get away from that ball and chain. You got three options. You have to be rich. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you got to be retired. Not yet. Or a remote worker. Got it. We have 10 questions you absolutely have to ask your employer before you start remote work. Otherwise, you may not be successful in this journey. The very first question you need to ask is whether or not there's a timeline to your remote work. If you have to go back to the office or report somewhere, you need to know that in advance. You'll want to know what states you can be employed out of. So for Chris, for example, there's eight states he can't live in and be employed with his current employer. So you'll want to figure that out first before you move anywhere or domicile in that state. You'll want to know what medical benefits are available to you on the road. That's right, because there's a big difference between an HMO and a PPO. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, start your research now. Because being in network or out of network can make the difference on whether or not you have to pay full cost for your coverage. So you want this to be your office. Well, you better know what the internet requirements are because sometimes the more remote, the worse the internet. If your employer has a VPN and you have to have a certain megabit per second download, you better know that before you choose Key West. Time zones, you gotta take that into consideration. So your employer, you wanna go remote, our time zone's a factor. For Chris, it is, he works specific time zone. So no matter where we're at, like right now in Key West, he works 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. But you need to find out if your employer is flexible, if you just be there four hours, eight hours, whatever it may be, as long as you get your work done. You better ask the employer right up front, do you have mandatory in-person meetings? If you do, you need to know exactly where they're at and how frequently, if not, this is my choice for work. All right, let's throw them curveballs at you. If you have to travel for work, will your employer reimburse you for RV parks, houseboats, or hotels? You gotta ask those questions. All right, next question, guys. If you have to travel for work, Will they pay for you to go from any particular state? For me, I a lot of times fly from Florida to California, Indiana to California. Sometimes I drive in from Nevada. Depends on what's going on. You need to know what your travel policy is so that you can plan ahead and not get caught with a huge bill if your company doesn't pay for travel. Also, another question you gotta think about, if you're not flying in, will they help offset the price of fuel for you to drive it? Could being a nomad affect your chance of promotion or growth with your company? Chris, how has it been working for you? For me, I've been very fortunate. I work for a great company that they don't mind me being a remote worker. I've been promoted twice. Some companies may look down upon you like you're not contributing enough or you're not doing your part because you're not in the building every day having water cooler talk. Make sure you ask those questions up front because you don't want your career stopped because of perception you're not giving 100%. So you want to be a world famous YouTuber, you want to be an Instagrammer for the stars. Well, you better check with your company first because some companies frown upon social media and they don't want you out there creating content. Make sure you don't get in trouble with your company and jeopardize your career. Bonus tips. Are you a spouse of a remote worker like I am? So when I wanted to do Venturesome Couple, Chris was fully supportive. So I support him in a few things. So we don't record when he's working and I don't record him in any of his work local wear. So we're not violating any of his company policies. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We hope you found this insightful and informative. 
That's right, gotta get that edutainment. Go take a look at these next two videos. They're all about our internet solutions and how we make this remote lifestyle work on the road.